Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about resizing software. This is a follow-on from my article that I hope you read at ronmartblog.com, and uh, I wanted to explain and do a little pixel peeping on video, uh, as it's more effective than uh, thousands of screenshots on the blog. So um, what I did is I have uh, five test images, and I start off with an original image, so you see that uh, over here, this is 7449 by 4968, and then I go and take that image in Photoshop, and with uh, bicubic sharpener interpolation, I reduce it by 50%. Um, so you see the file size is uh, half, and then uh, I also do another version that is 25%, so a much smaller file. And then with these files, uh, I use this as the basis of my uh, the 50% as my 2x increase. And then this one, the base from, basis for my 4x increase. And I did that for all of these images. And so um, I have images by Gigapixel uh, on one. And Photoshop are the products that I used. And I've color-coded uh, these. and. I've used smart collections as a way to gather uh, all these. So um, uh, in this tutorial, uh, or not tutorial, but in this uh, presentation, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here to probably starting with the 4x. And I'm going to say, OK, the original uh, is the ones with the gray. And then the Photoshop on one and gigapixel versions. And so we'll do some comparisons and show you uh, what kind of work it did. 2x is so good that uh, for all the products that I won't go too depth in depth on those, but for uh, 4x, that's where you really start seeing the difference between the products. So let's start with that. So we'll start by grabbing these first two images. And again, four just means that it's uh, four stars, means it's uh, 4x. And that's just so I could easily collect them into the smart collection. And then I added the original as well. So if you want to see what that smart collection looks like, it's just four stars in original. Um, and then if I come over here and do an XY comparison, you'll see that initially they both look you know, really good and the same. And then, you know, if you're looking at like file sizes, you'll see that these, if you go compare, they're pretty close to the original size. Sometimes they're off by a couple pixels, uh, but uh, effectively the same. It's when you zoom in, and I'm looking at a Photoshop 4x upsize and an on one 4x upsize, and I zoom in on this eye, and sometimes you got to give it a second for it to resolve. Um, in this particular case, that's it. That's what it is, and the quality of the 4x um, for Photoshop is definitely, in my opinion, not as good as what I'm seeing with on one. Um, and then over here, you know, for the hair, actually, I would give uh, Photoshop a, a slight advantage on the hair. Um, again, if I start going down here on the textures, you'll see that um, in this particular case, on one's a little bit softer. Now, sometimes, you know, depending on what you're looking at, some people subjectively uh, prefer one over the other. You can also uh, correct some of these things by just adding some sharpening after the fact. Another area I tend to look at, because this is a, a very problematic area when upsizing, is what happens in these background gradients. And you start getting artifacts like this, these, and you can kind of compare how splotchy is one versus how smooth is another. And so, um, you know, overall, I do see that this one uh, you know, has a little darker midtones, um, and uh, this is a little bit more blocky or blotchy, and so. Um, subjectively, some might prefer this, some might prefer this, um, but they're both, you know, sort of okay resizes. They're not great resizes, but, uh, you know, certainly works. Now, let's just suppose that, you know, out of these two, um, I'm just going to randomly choose Photoshop as the better one, and then I choose Gigapixel, and I start comparing these two to each other. Now, wow, look at the detail in the hair. Look at the detail in the eyes. Sorry about that. We're recording, so sometimes we get a little latency. I mean, the hair difference is huge. And again, this is a 4x uh, resize uh, from that original 25% file. And you know, you can download the trial version and, and 
do these things, same things with your own images to see that. Uh, I'm not trying to kid you here. This is really what we're getting. And uh, if I were to go compare this um, against the original, you can clearly see that the original, you know, definitely has more eye detail, more hair detail, but they're pretty darn close. I mean, I was really just shocked at how good uh, Gigapixel was uh, for some of these resizes. You know, you see a lot better detail here in the face. You lose some of that uh, over here. But it's not too shabby. And again, let's get this and go back to, let's say, the on one version and compare these two. Again, it's night and day difference in the hair, the eyes, the side of the face, what we see in the texture of the jacket, and then the artifacts in the background. You have a little bit here, um, but overall it's worse than that one. Um, and again, this is a 4x resize. You get to the 2x, uh, it's unbelievable um, the improvement. So I'm going to come over here with this white selected. I'm going to select this one with that white selected. I'm going to select that one and come in with a new image. And we zoom in and we see these two are roughly the same. The on one one feels, in my opinion, a little sharper here. Um, perhaps there's a little bit more texture in here. Again, you kind of start splitting hairs as to what's more important for you, um, but they're they're fairly comparable. And uh, once again, let's just come over here. I'll replace this one with the Gigapixel version. Uh, it swapped it on me, so I can swap it back. So Gigapixel right on one left. Holy cow, this looks like a cartoon now compared to the detail this thing got. Again, this is a 4x increase, and I'm just I'm, I'm blown away at the detail it's brought back. Um, if I go and take this one and replace it with the original, so now we got the original versus the 4x, you can clearly see this is a lot better, but holy crap, look how much detail it brought back out of uh, a 4x downsize. Um, just simply astonishing to me, honestly. So let's go take another image. We're going to choose that. Select that one. Again, apologies for some of the latency caused while recording this video. Um, over here, this is where On One did really poorly. Uh, you can see that this is. Um, a lot more detail in this little twig here, whereas this almost looks cartoonish. Uh, the detail is completely lost. This is almost feels like there's a bug in the algorithm on this particular uh, source file. So I really don't think this one's even acceptable uh, for the resize. And again, this is a product that I've used for over a decade, so I mean, I, I really am not trying to put down resize. I've loved the product, relied on it for a very long time. Um, but, you know, times change, products get better. Photoshop did a great job in 2018 of improving its resizing algorithms. And, uh, you know, On One, uh, I think, has some, some work to do. There might be some fine tuning uh, to get a different result, like they do have a landscape preset. And if you use that, maybe you're going to get better results for this one. Um, but I was doing the defaults on these. Uh, for all the products, so um, by default, I definitely wasn't very impressed with what I saw there. So if I come along and replace that one, and so now we're looking at Gigapixel versus Photoshop, and let's go zoom in here. Look at that. That's like all the detail that came back versus this thing, I feel like I need to put my glasses on. Again, this is a 25% file that's been resized four times. It just blows my mind, the difference. And then let's go choose another file here. And then we have on one left, Photoshop right. Um, there's actually, you notice a little bit of a color difference between these two as well. 
And in this case, again, I'd say the advantage is probably um, you know, Photoshop. Um, the default algorithm in on one uh, for general um, probably is not as good as if you, you know, specifically choose face or choose landscape and so forth. So I'd encourage you to do that if you use the product. Um, but in this just kind of head to head uh, default comparison, um, I'm seeing a little bit better uh, detail out of Photoshop on some of these. It's not to say that on one isn't a good product. It has great features like gallery wrap and uh, tile and so forth. And uh, it does a great job, you know, down resing images as well. And with you know, a lot of fine tuning, you can get good results. But uh, definitely Photoshop uh, has come a long way. That being said, uh, once again, if we put it up against Gigapixel, this is like a toy. I mean, this is just really not even close the detail that I'm getting in the eyes over here in the iris, the hair. Come along over here. You know, texture in the ear, hair. Come up here to the nest. And then if I come down here in the tie, you know, there's like uh, just smeared here, whereas I do see some sharpening. I'd argue there's a little bit over sharpening in here. So I, I might actually redo this image and just turn off sharpening altogether. You know, the, the detail that I get in the jacket uh, has a lot more is kind of smeared here. And so, you know, overall, um, Gigapixel is extremely slow, but it performs uh, exceptionally well uh, for these 4x uh, sizings. So here we're going to take um, my infamous bookshelf image, which I've used on my blog for quite some time. And when shooting photos, what I always looked at was, you know, what did it do with this uh, book here? This book has a texture and, uh, you know, what's the details in here and stuff. And you'll see uh, on one um, and Photoshop both don't have any of those textures. This is all kind of smeared. Text is a little blurry. If I come down at the bottom, you'll see that uh, on one just did a horrible job with the text here. Uh, Photoshop did a pretty decent job. Um, but neither one of them I would consider to be wow. Uh, again, let's come over here, come back up here, and then we're going to switch on one with Gigapixel. And holy cow, again, night and day difference. It's like you put your glasses on. You're seeing texture in this book. You're uh, seeing actual you know, pages come back to life versus just smearing right here. Feels like you know somebody um, you know used some database that had my image in it and uh, made it better because this is just it's shocking to me how it brings all these details back. I mean, how the heck does it deal with all that lost information? Um, you know, there are some details in the back here that don't come back, but um, there's no artifacts like we have here. And so overall, it's it's a pretty good result. Um, now, if I were to take uh, this image and compare it to, say, the original. Uh, so original left, gigapixel right, we come in here. And we'll see for as good as it is, it did lose some you know, details in here, some de texture in here. Uh, but, you know, overall, again, for a 4X, oops, it's not too bad. You know, it did a pretty good job uh, with this book, all things considered. You know, you do see some recurring pattern here versus the individual pages, uh, but not too shabby. And I'll okay, go down and look at that. Uh, text at the bottom for Barron's. You know, definitely clearly better, but, but not too shabby. Now if I go over to 2x, I'm not going to spend much time on these because they're just, they're all pretty good. Um, we'll go ahead and take the um, first image again, and this is going to be Photoshop versus on one. And this is where on one does a good job. On one's always been known that 4x is kind of pushing it. Um, 2x is uh, you know, definitely a lot better. 
again, Photoshop does a good job. You know, they're both, I, I really wasn't disappointed with any of the resizing that I got on the 2X from any of the products. Um, you know, if I come over, you know, pretty good. It's a little bit softer here, but, but fundamentally, if I add a little sharpening to this, these two are, are about the same. So I didn't really feel like either one of them did a bad job. Uh, you know, hair details still there and so forth. But again, let's go ahead and take this and compare it to Gigapixel. And I don't know why Photoshop likes to move, or Lightroom likes to move those on me, but let's zoom back in again. And look at the hair detail. Look at the iris detail. This is a little soft, that's super sharp. Hair detail, hair detail, ear texture. Over on this side, you can see it a lot better. Yeah, this goes soft. If I come down here, you know, in the highlights, roughly the same. The texture of the jacket, you know, I'd argue that Gigapixel is better. And so, it makes you wonder. This is so good. How's it compared to the actual original? So let's replace this one with the original. So we have original now versus gigapixel. And I'll be damned. I can't really see the difference. Again, this was something that was half the size and got rescaled. And the results are, are quite amazing. In fact, this is slightly sharper, sharpened more. So the default sharpening uh, is a little more aggressive, but I'm not, not obnoxious in any way. I think the Effectively, the AI sharpening is, is really quite good. You know, if I look in the background, you know, artifacts uh, are actually about the same. You know, this is a JPEG file and stuff. It's maybe a little something here, but you know, definitely nothing um, you know, significant or obnoxious. So, um, really quite impressive. And we have you know similar results you know across the board uh, for these products. Um, you know, if I uh, come over here, let's just for kicks and giggles choose this other one. Again, eyes are always a really good uh, test, and this one has a um, jacket with texture and stuff. You can see both look uh, really good on one. I think it's actually better on this one than Photoshop. And then if I come scroll down here, look at the tie. Again, I like on one slightly better. The texture of the material a little bit softer on the Photoshop one than on the on one side. If I come over here and repeat again, we got gigapixel left on one right, and again more details start coming out. I is clearly better. You know, hair quality is slightly sharper. Kind of see it more in this area. And then if we go down to the tie, this time I think the tie was actually done brilliant, brilliantly. It wasn't over sharpened. So, you know, better, but not overdone. So, really great results. Again, you're welcome to download these files while the article is open in your browser and pull them in the Lightroom and do some comparison. Uh, however, when you close the article in the browser, I ask that you delete all the images. I do have the copyright on these images and your uh, usage rights only extend to the uh, act of evaluating them in conjunction with the blog article being open. Um, you may not print edit or do anything with these images other than review them in association with this article. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out uh, to me through the contact me uh, at my um, portfolio site or on my blog. And uh, thanks for watching.